water packs. These flat, leak-proof plastic containers line cold boxes and vaccine carriers to keep vaccines at the required temperature range. And they must be prepared correctly. Preparing a water pack is all about getting it to the right temperature. And the appropriate temperature of the water packs will depend on the type of vaccines being transported, how long you will be traveling, and the ambient temperatures where you are going. Water packs can be prepared and used as frozen ice packs, conditioned ice packs, cool water packs, and warm water packs. We will review how to prepare each kind. But first, make sure you have the correct size and number of packs for your container and only use packs that are WHO pre-qualified. Your health facility should have at least two complete sets of water packs for each passive container. That way, you can be preparing one set while the other set is in use. Once you have your water packs, make sure they are filled properly. First, fill the water pack with clean water up to the fill line, leaving a little air space at the top. Next, screw the cap on tightly. Then, hold each pack upside down and squeeze to check for leaks. If it leaks, the pack is damaged and should be discarded. Now, wipe the water pack dry. If you are preparing frozen or conditioned ice packs, place them directly in the freezing compartment for at least 24 hours. When you put the packs in the freezer, place them upright or on their sides so that they are touching the evaporator plate. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions on the best position and location for freezing. Never store frozen water packs in the refrigerator. This lowers the temperature and puts vaccines at risk of freezing. Once water packs are frozen solid, they can be used as frozen ice packs. They should not be used immediately for transporting vaccines, since they can freeze and destroy freeze-sensitive vaccines. Instead, WHO recommends using conditioned ice packs to transport vaccines. These ice packs have been left outside the freezer long enough to stabilize at zero degrees Celsius. Follow these steps to prepare a conditioned ice pack. Remove the required number of frozen ice packs from the freezer. Lay the frozen packs flat in a single layer on a work surface, leaving gaps of about five centimeters between packs. Wait until all packs are properly conditioned. There must be liquid water inside every pack and the ice cores should move inside the packs when shaken. This will take at least 30 to 45 minutes in hot weather and much longer in cooler conditions. If you are preparing cool water packs, place them in a separate refrigerator, not the same refrigerator used for storing vaccines. Set the thermostat as low as possible to make sure water packs are cooled to 5 degrees Celsius or below. If you are packing a vaccine carrier with cool water packs, also bring one or more frozen ice packs to the session to keep opened multi-dose vaccine vials at the correct temperatures. If you live in a very cold climate, you will need warm water packs to protect freeze-sensitive vaccines on a long journey. Warm water packs hold water at room temperature so they can be kept in any protected area. Once your water packs are prepared, you are ready to pack your cold box or vaccine carrier. <laughs>